This past Saturday night in San Juan, Puerto Rico, we saw the highly anticipated collision between the Scottish warrior Drew McIntyre and the tribal chief Roman Reigns. These two combustible elements, bound to explode, came head to head in hopes of earning a future World Heavyweight Championship opportunity. And to the victor goes the spoils. Roman Reigns able to turn away the challenge of the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre. But now the Tribal Chief turns his sights to two weeks from tomorrow. WWE SmackDown is heading to Golden One Center in Sacramento, California for the 2024 Battleground, where Roman Reigns will contest the Ring General Gunther for the World Heavyweight Championship. But Roman Reigns is going to see action prior to Battleground in two weeks later tonight as he goes one-on-one -on -one with one of SmackDown's newest draftees, that being Carmelo Hayes. Trick Williams going to be looming at ringside. Roman's going to have his hands full later tonight on Friday Night SmackDown. We are live from the pit in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And speaking of recent draftees, one is about to walk down the aisle, the big strong boy, Tyler Bate. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Dudley, England, weighing in at 175 pounds, Tyler Bates. As we just mentioned, the next time these SmackDown superstars come your way for a live premiere event, it is two weeks from tomorrow, Saturday night, May the 4th, Sacramento, California, the SmackDown exclusive battleground. And as we have gotten through backlash and the new rosters have taken shape, the big strong boy Tyler Bate back here on Friday Night SmackDown in the aftermath of the 2024 draft lottery. Tyler Bate, a man who has been chasing championship gold on Monday Night Raw for months and unfortunately has not gone his way, but tonight an opportunity for Bate to step up here on Friday Night SmackDown. Gonna have his hands full with the cruiserweight champion of the world, that being the czar, Ilya Dragunov. Can Tyler Bate get through the Mad Dragon tonight, possibly earning himself an opportunity at the Cruiserweight Championship of the World? But of course, Tyler Bate may not be the only superstar on the SmackDown roster with those same aspirations. Ilya Dragunov has been dealing with a thorn in his side, named the Irish Ace, J.D. McDonough. But Dragunov continues to push forward, continues to step inside the squared circle, continues to fight just like the Tsar does, continues to do the actions that brought him the gold that is around his waist. And his opponent from Moscow, Russia, weighing in at 187 pounds, the WWE Cruiserweight Champion, Ilya Dragunov. Ilya Dragunov for months has been the target of one J.D. McDonough. McDonough has had his opportunities at the Cruiserweight Championship in the past. Two singles matches with Dragunov and a part of the ladder match back at WrestleMania. None of those went J.D. McDonough's way, but he is not gonna be satisfied until he gets another go around with the Mad Dragon. He has obviously gotten the attention of Dragunov. Ilya returned just a few weeks ago. Laid out J.D. McDonough with a torpedo Moscow in the middle of the ring. But as you saw last week, McDonough's still trying to do anything he can to stay in the crosshairs of the Cruiserweight Champion. An ever-developing situation. All remains to be seen what happens next. But tonight, here in Albuquerque, Ilya Dragunov looks to focus on the task at hand. And that is the big, strong boy, Tyler Bate. These two men know strangers to each other. They clashed about a year ago when they were both a part of Monday Night Raw, now taking their talents to Friday Night SmackDown. And I'll wait a minute here. JD McDonough making his way to ringside. Well, last week it was the mid-match distraction trying to cost Ilya Dragunov against Drew Gulak. Tonight, JD McDonough is making his way out to the outskirts of the squared circle. And I'll be honest, this is completely unnecessary for the man who wants another opportunity at the Cruiserweight Championship. You see Ilya Dragunov's focus has immediately turned away from Tyler Bate and is looking at the man who has left him laying in the squared circle time and time again. 
Well, Dragunov's got to try to focus on the task at hand as JD McDonough has taken a firm seat at ringside. The Cruiserweight Champion one-on-one -on -one with Tyler Bate to kick things off on Friday Night SmackDown. And immediately off the opening bell, Tyler Bate exploding onto the scene here on the blue brand. Ilya's got to be careful tonight. I am sure he came into this matchup with a strategy against Tyler Bate, but now the X Factor of JD McDonough at ringside. Tyler Bate doesn't need anybody's assistance to get the job done, but he may get an unwelcomed one here tonight. If Ilya Dragunov does not keep his mind in this matchup, he has his mind on the man at ringside, JD McDonough, while Tyler Bate may find himself in the window of opportunity to take advantage and to score a victory over the Cruiserweight Champion of the World tonight. Also here tonight on SmackDown, the ballsy badass calling out Raquel Rodriguez for another go around. They have had several clashes in recent months here on SmackDown. They're gonna run it back tonight as well as the Tribal Chief Roman Reigns in the ring here on SmackDown against Carmelo Hayes making his debut after being drafted last week. It'll be an action-packed night on the road to backlash two weeks, or excuse me, on the road to battleground, if we can say it correct, two weeks from tomorrow. SmackDown exclusive event from the Golden One Center in Sacramento, California, where Roman Reigns will challenge Guther for the World Heavyweight Championship. And Tyler May could be on his way from earning a shot at the Cruiserweight Championship. Second shooting star press already. Tyler Bate been the aggressor for the majority of this matchup so far, and you can't blame him. This is a man who holds a pinfall victory over Seth freaking Rollins during his WWE Championship reign back in the fall. Tyler Bate was also within moments of going to WrestleMania to challenge for the Intercontinental Championship a few weeks ago, a few months ago. Now Tyler Bay here on Friday Night SmackDown and sees a champion staring across the ring from him tonight. Hitting the shoulders of the Czar, easier said than done. But if anybody can do it, never count out the first ever NXT United Kingdom Champion. And that is why they call him the Big Strong Boy. German suplex, dead weight into the bridge, not enough to get the three count. But obvious damage done over the Cruiserweight Champion of the World. J.D. McDonough still looming ominously at ringside. Gotta wonder if he likes what he sees or not. The destruction of Ilya Dragunov, or if he's jealous, thinking he should be in there with the Mad Dragon. Nonetheless, Tyler May continuing to push the offense as he needs to do. Dragunov is in trouble here tonight. The mindset of the champion may be on the man at ringside. There's a story that goes back to the month of December here on SmackDown. JD McDonough has ambushed Dragunov time and time again from behind. And even after every time that Dragunov has turned away McDonough in singles action, even including the ladder match at WrestleMania, JD McDonough has continued to come back for more. Ilya Dragunov has got to be feeling unsettled with that man at ringside. And if he's not already, he is certainly going to feel unsettled with Tyler Bates done with him. Tilt to whirl, around, around we go. The Cruiserweight Champion is going to be seeing stars with Tyler Bates done with him tonight. Tyler Bates in firm control as he now heads to the top rope with a grounded champion. Flying headbutt. And he's not done. Back to the top. Victory could be near. Could be looking for the corkscrew and it lands flush. Into the cover. Tyler Bate goes. But the Czar is still alive. Ilya Dragunov, tough as nails. A man who thrives off punishment inside of that ring. Damn near welcomes it. That doesn't mean that he is an invincible superstar as much as he likes to claim he is. Ilya Dragunov may have met his match tonight in non-title action. Ilya Dragunov getting the shoulder up moments ago. Surviving is not thriving in this business. And Tyler Bate, look at her. Oh, wait a minute here. I was going to say looking to continue the offense, but Dragunov goes behind. And a much-needed reversal by the champion. Simple yet effective suplex to the outside. And now Dragunov sending Tyler Bate back inside the squared circle. 
Trying to close the gap. The Man Dragon trying to come alive. Trying to soar through the skies of Albuquerque, New Mexico. These two men jockeying for position, drying it off, giving Tyler Bate a taste he won't soon forget. And wait a minute, J.D. McDonough now in the ring. McDonough ambushing Dragunov. Dragunov's going to win this matchup by disqualification, but there is a larger story here. Well, Tyler Bay obviously not happy with that settlement. And I don't think Dragunov is going to be either. But J.D. McDonough looking to have his way once again with the Cruiserweight Champion. On his time is when McDonough decides to operate. The Irish Ace will not be settled until he gets another go around for the Cruiserweight Championship of the world. Last week here on Friday Night SmackDown, we saw the WrestleMania rematch for the United States Championship. Ricochet contesting the phenomenal AJ Styles. Styles drafted to Monday Night Raw last Monday, leaving Ricochet with one final opportunity to obtain the red, white, blue, and gold. Ricochet did exactly what he needed to do back at WrestleMania all over again. Pushed AJ Styles to his very limits and beyond. Ricochet able to survive some of Styles' best offense. Offense that has brung him success as the United States Champion. And when Ricochet needed to most, he threw caution in the wind in this main event affair, soaring through the skies time and time again, and the one and only obtaining his championship gold, the United States Championship now remains with the human highlight reel. But who is going to make their way to Battleground two weeks from tomorrow to contest Ricochet for the United States title? We're going to find out next week on Friday Night SmackDown when eight SmackDown superstars compete in an over-the-top rope battle royal. A golden opportunity hangs in the balance. And here comes a superstar who I am sure is thriving to get another opportunity at the Women's World Championship. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Make your way to the ring from Rio Grande Valley, Texas, Raquel Rodriguez. We're gonna take you back to last week on SmackDown, Raquel Rodriguez alongside Zelina Vega 2v2 against Zoe Stark and the Women's World Champion, Shayna Baszler. Raquel Rodriguez getting the final pinfall in this matchup, keeping down Shayna's protege seven nights ago here in the blue brand. Of course, Selena Vega went on to backlash to challenge the Queen of Spades for the Women's World Championship. Success was not to be in San Juan, Puerto Rico. The reign of Baszler lives on another moment. But Raquel Rodriguez, who has had a red-hot 2024, has got to have her eyes on Shayna Baszler. Another go-around for the Women's World Championship. But here comes another woman who wants another go-around with Raquel Rodriguez. Well, the next time these SmackDown superstars come your way for a premium live event, it is two weeks from tomorrow, Saturday night, May the 4th, from the Golden One Center in Sacramento, California. We're going to be live 5 p.m. Eastern time, the Friday night SmackDown exclusive Battleground. Cannot wait to see how this event takes shape over the next few weeks. Of course, we already know the World Heavyweight Championship will be decided when Roman Reigns challenges the ring general Gunther. The same Roman Reigns who will be in your main event later tonight from Albuquerque, New Mexico. But right here, right now, Shotzi going one-on-one -on -one for Kel Rodriguez, a matchup that Shotzi wanted from what we understand. The ballsy badass has had this, this ever-looming issue with Raquel over the last few months. It all started when Raquel Rodriguez was selected over Shotzi to contest inside the Elimination Chamber back in January. Of course, the fact that Raquel went on to win that matchup certainly did not sit well with the ballsy badass. And these two women stood toe-to-toe -to -toe once more in the opening match in the gauntlet a few weeks ago. Raquel eliminating Shotzi from that contest. Shotzi looks at Raquel Rodriguez as somebody who has gotten in her way of obtaining an opportunity at the Women's World Championship. 
Now tonight, Shotzi calling out Raquel for a one-on-one -on -one match, mano y mano. Raquel never won to turn away a challenge. And after her victory last week in the tag team matchup, I'm sure Raquel loves the opportunity to try to rise the ranks of the women's division that much more here on SmackDown. Nonetheless, Shotzi with her own vendetta tonight. With the Women's World Championship contention wide open right now, it could be either of these women stepping up next to take on the Queen of Spades. A look at Raquel Rodriguez, the winner of the Women's Elimination Chamber match a couple of months ago, had red hot momentum. We're talking victories over Shotzi, over Zoe Stark, even Bianca Belair here on SmackDown. Raquel was really breaking up the victories left and right for a couple of months. Then she went into WrestleMania back in her home state of Texas, fell short to Shayna Baszler to try to win the Women's World Championship. Ever since then, Raquel has been on a little bit of a redemption, if you will. Came up short in the gauntlet matchup, I'll bite. Lasted over three rounds in that thing. And of course, last week, the tag team matchup, and now we look to this contest tonight. If Raquel Rodriguez wants to step into the ring with the Queen of Spades once more, Victories are of the utmost importance. And you got the ballsy badass Shotzi, who as we mentioned, has her own vendetta. And I'm sure wants to use Raquel as a stepping stone to challenging for championship gold. You can't take Shotzi lightly, a former women's tag team champion, former two-time WWE women's champion about two years ago, part of the Monday Night Raw brand. But Shotzi, however, looking for her pound of flesh tonight. However, Raquel Rodriguez giving her a different taste of her own medicine. And almost had the victory that time, did Raquel. Shayna Baszler with another dominating, downright impressive victory over the LWO's first lady, Selena Vega, this past Saturday night in the Coliseum in San Juan, Puerto Rico at Backlash. Resilient effort by Zelina. With that Carafuda clutch that has put away so many superstars. Of course, was the Kryptonites in Zelina Vega's hopes of winning the Women's World Championship. And Raquel Rodriguez looking to use that neck breaker as the Kryptonite to Shotzi's pursuit of victory tonight. Just as it was in the gauntlet a few weeks back. Raquel, however, elects to keep going with the offense, and it may come back to haunt her, not going for the pinfall. Discus forearm that time. Raquel into the corner. Shotzi might have found a window of opportunity there after a rare misstep. Took to Earl Head Scissors. That's one way to take down the bigger, stronger competitor in Raquel Rodriguez. Could be a huge upset tonight if Shotzi picks up the victory. As we mentioned, the red hot streak of Raquel in 2024. A couple of bumps in the road, but Raquel has remained on the tracks as much as she can. Shotzi looking to derail Raquel Rodriguez once more here tonight on SmackDown. I'm sure Shayna Baszler, or wherever she is here in the pit arena tonight, has got her eyes on this women's matchup, knowing these two women are hungry for championship opportunities. While Raquel sent right to the post. Ain't gonna be no Tahana bombs or powerhouse maneuvers in general if you take out the arms of Raquel Rodriguez. Raquel's gonna have to dip into that repertoire here. But maybe she's got a little left, going for the suplex. Shotzi goes behind, take it out the knee. Take out the arms, take out the knee. Take out the whole flesh. Raquel Rodriguez may be down and out. And in a close call there, Shotzi almost with the upset. The ballsy badass threw out the gauntlet for this matchup tonight. You gotta believe she came in with several plans to try to keep down the much bigger, stronger competitor. She's going after the arms, she's going after the legs, trying to chop Raquel down to size. But the ever resilient Raquel Rodriguez has been through worse. The woman who survived the Elimination Chamber a couple of months ago and wants an opportunity to take on Shayna Baszler for the Women's World Title. Shotzi trying to outrun her. Big boot right on the jawline. Raquel starting to get fired up here at Albuquerque. A ballsy badass better shake the cobwebs off before Raquel's got her way. And the ropes, Raquel Rodriguez exploding onto the scene. 
Shotzi may have bit off more than she can chew. And now Raquel into the corner. Maybe no need for a Tahana bomb tonight. And there's the victory for Raquel Rodriguez. Oh, wait a minute. Shayna Baszler. Shayna Baszler in the ring. Women's World Championship across the dome. Baszler's heard the rumors. She knows Raquel wants a shot at the gold. Shayna Baszler sending a message. Draw on the line in the sand. You want a title opportunity. You're going to have to earn it the hard way. Well, it was a couple of weeks ago on SmackDown that we saw the exciting return of El Idolo, Andrade. Andrade pushing the pace in a matchup against the World Heavyweight Champion, the Ring General Guther. Andrade gave us a great performance on that night, but I hate to say it, the honeymoon phase has certainly worn off fast for one of the former NXT champions, and dare I say, one of the best to ever stuff foot from Mexican soil all the way to Friday Night SmackDown. We talked about it last week, Santos Escobar and Andrade evidently involved in some backstage altercation. Escobar had to refocus in this matchup against one half of the tag team champions, Austin Theory. A huge victory for the LWO's Santos Escobar, but a victory that was spoiled by Andrade, who made his way out on the stage just to talk a little smack to the LWO member. Andrade took to X earlier this week and had this to say, I don't know why a legend like Rey Mysterio taints his legacy by associating with losers like Santos Escobar. If Rey wants to save his career, leaving the LWO and becoming partners with me would give him new life. Santos, step aside and let the men handle business. Andrade certainly coming back to SmackDown with a game plan in mind, and I can't say I necessarily agree with it. Nonetheless, Andrade has been back on SmackDown a couple of weeks, and he's already making some enemies, looking to make some business partners along the way as well. Nonetheless, that's an ever-developing situation from there, but we got to refocus. We are set for tag team action here in the pit in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Speaking of the LWO, two men in the ring who scored a huge upset over Santos Escobar and Rey Mysterio a number of weeks ago, that being Axiom and Nathan Frazier. Well, they're gonna have their hands full against another team that was successful as of late against LWO members Cruz Del Toro and Joaquin Wilde. You were looking at Giovanni Vinci and Ludwig Kaiser of Imperium. And at a combined weight of 440 pounds, Giovanni Vinci and Ludwig Kaiser Imperium. Austin Theory, one half of the WWE Tag Team Champions Alongside Grayson Waller may have come up short last week against Santos Escobar, but one thing that is certainly reigned supreme, and Theory and Waller will let you know about, one bump in the road doesn't mean a damn as long as they are still tag team champions. But Theory and Waller gotta know better than anybody that as champions, you got a target on their back. They've already turned away the challenge of Alpha Academy a number of weeks ago in Philadelphia here on SmackDown. Now we look to Albuquerque tonight, Imperium. Frazier and Axiom, two teams that have been successful as of late on SmackDown, now meet toe-to-toe, -to -toe, and you gotta believe Theory and Waller should be keeping a close eye on this matchup. Could very well be one of these two teams challenging for championship gold in the near future. And just imagine if Giovanni Vinci and Ludwig Kaiser of Imperium can go on to eventually win WWE Tag Team title gold. You got the ring general Gunther as world heavyweight champion. If he can get through Roman Reigns at Battleground, Imperium, hypothetically, could be more dangerous than ever. All remains to be seen. Don't want to get ahead of ourselves here. This is Friday Night SmackDown. It's certainly been an interesting night of action. Superstars looking to stake their claim for future title opportunities. And lines in the sand already being drawn on the road to Battleground two weeks from tomorrow. And nonetheless, Axiom and Nathan Fraser, a new team that came together a number of weeks back, looking to keep their momentum alive over Imperium here tonight. It's one thing to upset Rey Mysterio and Santos Escobar. 
But did Lightning just strike? Or was it just that fluke victory for Frazier and Axiom? Or is their luck gonna run out tonight against Kaiser and Vinci of Imperium? All remains to be seen. Axiom and Frazier are gonna do what Axiom just did momentarily. Stick and move and use their speed and agility to their advantage. Think about Kaiser and Vinci, however. So brutal inside of that victory. Very smash mouth at times. The mat is sacred to Imperium. Gotta believe they're coming into this matchup with a beat down mentality on these two cruiserweights. Meanwhile, you got Giovanni Vinci in the Imperium corner. Also likes to take it to the air when need be. Could be an equalizer in this matchup. Trying to counterbalance Nathan Frazier and Axiom. Look at the maneuver by Frazier, however. It was like a suplex Michinuku driver. I don't know what that was. Giovanni Vinci with the tag. Axiom getting one as well. Meeting in the middle. Momentum goes to Imperium off that exchange. And Giovanni Vinci could also be so powerful. One of those full package-like wrestlers inside of those ropes. Axiom finding that out firsthand. Especially coming out of the draft a couple of weeks ago. The Tag team division here on SmackDown just continuing to heat up. Austin Theory and Grayson Waller, your WWE Tag Team Champions. Of course, Cruz Del Toro and Joaquin Wilde, Santos Escobar and Rey Mysterio, all of LWO. Got these two teams compounding it out here on SmackDown tonight. Wait a minute, Axiom. Trying to steal the victory over Giovanni Vinci, not just yet. Trick Mello gang joined the Friday Night SmackDown brand. We're going to see Carmelo Hayes in action just a little bit. Later on here on SmackDown. Oh, Axiom just jockeying for position against Giovanni Vinci. Back and forth so far in this matchup. I gotta tell you, I was looking forward to this matchup tonight, especially seeing what Frazier and Axiom were able to do against the LWO a few weeks back. If they can keep down a Hall of Famer in Rey Mysterio and a former three-time Cruiserweight Champion in Santos Escobar, regardless if some say it was a fluke or not, who's to say they can't keep down Imperium? It all remains to be seen. Fraser with a nice combination there, but Giovanni Vinci with a lot more left in the tank. Should be a competitive matchup here tonight in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And we've been talking about it throughout tonight. Championship implications seem to just be Honestly looming. JD McDonough, the cruiserweight champion Ilya Dragunov in his sights. What about what we saw moments ago? Shayna Baszler ambushing Raquel Rodriguez, women's world championship over the skull. Even the thought of Raquel Rodriguez challenging her once more put the Queen of Spades in attack mode, taking out Raquel after a victory. Now you look at this matchup right here. Tonight on SmackDown as Giovanni Vinci soars through the air off the springboard. You could be looking at two teams jockeying for position to challenge Austin Theory and Grayson Waller in the near future for the WWE Tag Team titles. Of course, the number one contender for the World Heavyweight title set to be competing in your main event. All roads lead the battlegrounds two weeks from tomorrow and you gotta believe tensions are riding high in the Friday Night SmackDown locker room. Axiom with the tag to Nathan Fraser, Ludwig Kaiser trying to cut him off, not allowing these two cruiserweights to build any kind of momentum. Sending them right to the outside, not where Nathan Fraser, I'm sure, wants to be, as Kaiser knocking down Axiom. There's the illegal competitor, Giovanni Vinci, sending Fraser back inside the ring. Imperium looking to divide and conquer. Wrestle their style of matchup here tonight. What did we say earlier? It can be ground and pound at times, rough and tough at times. When they need to be is Imperium. And also a little spice in their repertoires as Ludwig Kaiser showcases right there. Fraser and Axiom struggling to get going. Their luck from a few weeks ago may be running out before our very eyes. I'm sure they were hoping the tag to Nathan Fraser was going to be. Would well, turn things around in this matchup, but Ludwig Kaiser has not allowed a comeback here tonight yet. They're just taking their time. This is what Imperium likes to do. Make their opponents wrestle their style of matchup. Very Gunther-esque are all these training partners in Imperium, and Ludwig Kaiser off the punt kick almost had the victory. 
Axiom breaking things up, and now Ludwig Kaiser turned his attention to the illegal competitor. Kaiser and Vinci having their way tonight, but never take your eyes off the ever-explosive Nathan Fraser. Swing blade. Moments removed from a kick to the back of the dome. Well, that momentary hesitation by Ludwig Kaiser could be what allows Frazier and Axiom to get back into this matchup. Albuquerque starting to come alive. Want to see Nathan Frazier and Axiom do what they do best. Move around this ring with speed and agility. Take things to the air. Giving Giovanni Vinci a taste of his own medicine. But there's Kaiser from behind off the crucifix. And not just yet, Nathan Frazier popping the shoulder up. That might have been Frazier's last ditch effort that time. Ludwig Kaiser trying to keep the pressure going. Frazier creating a little distance. Into the corner goes the opposer, representing Imperium. Nathan Frazier, a man trained by the former WWE champion Seth freaking Rollins. Still so young in his career and has got many years ahead of him. Success could be starting early here on SmackDown. An upset against Santos Escobar and Rey Mysterio a few weeks back. Can Axiom and Nathan Frazier keep it going? There's the tag made to the masked man all the way from Spain. On the top, not by will but by force, goes Ludwig Kaiser. And he may be in trouble as Axiom's wheels are spinning and so are the bodies. Spanish fly from the heavens. That is what Kaiser and Vinci wanted to avoid here tonight. But Axiom with other plans. Could be looking for that knockout kick that secured them victory a few weeks ago. Ludwig Kaiser sidesteps and an elbow right to the heart. Imperium did their homework on these two cruiserweights tonight. Tag made to Giovanni Vinci. And all know, Vinci with other plans. Look at the strength! We have got a board burner on our hands, and it may be coming to a close. Into the cover goes Vinci, but Axiom's still alive. I thought that was it. Ludwig Kaiser off the sidestep. Elbow to the heart. Tags in Vinci. A quick double team. Then that inside out power bomb. And now, Ragdoll and Axiom. He said it before, we'll say it again. Vinci, a full package of talents inside of that ring. Size, strength, speed, and agility. How can you stop him? Into the cover. Nathan Frazier breaking things up. Might have caught a little bit of referee, Chad Patton, that time. Things are going to happen when there's four men and a whole lot of will on the line. And Axiom in the drop zone. Giovanni Vinci off the springboard to the outside. And that is what makes Imperium so dangerous. And then Axiom back inside the ring. Vinci's not done. Another springboard. Missile drop kick right on the button. But Axiom's still alive. Barely, just barely getting the shoulder off the canvas. Imperium with some great offense over the last few minutes. But Axiom somehow surviving. Can he find a window to get back into this matchup? There it might be. Off the EDT. A much needed tag to Nathan Fraser, but how much do both of those men have left? Was able to create some distance momentarily off the DDT. Vinci already starting to shake the cobwebs off. Nathan Fraser has got to get moving here to keep the momentum on their side. Fraser loves to execute that Phoenix splash from the top rope. We've seen him soar through the skies, left, right, up and down, time and time again. That is what he needs to do just as we saw Vinci do a few moments ago. First to the outside, then the drop kick in the ring, and look what it did for Imperium. Nearly won the matchup. Nathan Frazier has got to go back to his roots. He's got to go to the well with what works. Giovanni Vinci on the apron this time. Frazier just knocking him right off. Oh, wait a minute. Ludwig Kaiser off screen that time. I think took out Axiom. Imperium again, once again in this matchup, to divide and conquer. Not just the bodies, but the minds of Frazier and Axiom. 
off the victory roll. Springboard, mood salt. Like him or not, Vinci a complete package into the cover and another kick out. Nathan Fraser almost got caught. Ludwig Kaiser and Axia once again going out at ringside. I don't know who's got the upper hand, but I know Giovanni Vinci is getting sent to the outside. And Nathan Frazier over the top, just as he loves to do. The pit here in Albuquerque, coming unglued. Canadian Destroyer on the outside. Nathan Frazier. Not looking to leave any stone unturned. Referees at a count of seven, but Nathan Frazier with that float over suplex. They need to get in the ring, break this count. Frazier's in. Referees at a count of nine, Vinci's knocked. Nathan Frazier and Axiom just won this matchup via count out. What an upset. The momentum continues. The look is on their side. Lightning strikes twice in the same spot again. Imperium are not going to be happy about this. A count out loss to these two ever exciting uprising cruiserweights here tonight on SmackDown. Here are your winners. The team of Axiom and Nathan Frazier. A great tag team matchup before our very eyes tonight, but we gotta keep our eyes on Nathan Frazier and Axiom. Their pursuit of the WWE Tag Team Championships just got a hell of a lot more serious off of tonight's victory. This past Saturday night in San Juan, Puerto Rico at Backlash, we saw an ever violent, ever dangerous ambulance matchup between the Apex Predator Randy Orton and the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes. An issue that has been brewing since the month of January for Randy Orton is about finally getting his victory back over Cody Rhodes and burying the past once and for all. For Cody Rhodes, it was about retribution. What he thought ended at WrestleMania, Randy Orton forced to continue. And after a brutal fight, Cody Rhodes just did not have enough left in him. Randy Orton executing on his plan, once again sending Cody Rhodes home in an ambulance. Well, the Apex Predator is going to be back in action next week on SmackDown, but it is not going to be an easy task. The almighty Bobby Lashley drafted to the blue brand, and he's going to be back inside a SmackDown ring next week. The almighty, the Viper, one-on-one -on -one right here on SmackDown. But speaking of draftees, look no further than tonight's main event. For the first time, the Trick Mellow Gang is set to walk down the aisle on Friday nights. Carmelo Hayes was chasing the Intercontinental Championship over on Raw. Twas not to be. Now his talents are brung to Fridays. Looking to start on the right note is the Trick Mellow Gang. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Trick Williams. From Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 210 pounds, Carmelo Hayes. As talented as these two young men are, Carmelo Hayes has got his hands full more than ever tonight. A former NXT champion, former North American champion, cruiserweight champion, Melo did it all down in NXT, but over the last year on Monday Night Raw, it's been an up and down ship. In 2024, we have seen Melo go toe to toe with some of the best of them. Edge, CM Punk, Sami Zayn, but Carmelo Hayes getting the victory where it matters has been few and far between. Melo is now on Friday Night SmackDown alongside his hype man, Trick Williams. If these two men want to start on the right foot, they better put together a game plan that is foolproof because he's got the number one contender for the big gold belt. For the first time in over two years, this past Saturday night, the tribal chief, the head of the table, Roman Reigns laced up a pair of boots inside the squared circle. 
continuing on his road to battleground two weeks from tomorrow roman reigns is back in a friday night smackdown ring and his opponent from pensacola florida weighing in at 265 pounds roman Roman Reigns shocked the world when he returned back at WrestleMania, and ever since then he has had one goal in mind, challenge Gunther for the World Heavyweight Championship. Roman taking down McIntyre, Gunther taking down Braun Breaker this past Saturday. And now all roads lead to two weeks from tomorrow in Sacramento. The ring general, Gunther, defends the World Heavyweight Championship against the Tribal Chief, Roman Reigns. Golden One Center in Sacramento is gonna be rocking at Battleground for this first time ever main event for the Big Gold Belt. Certainly two combustible elements, similar to Roman and McIntyre, similar to Breaker and Gunther. Come face to face and they'll be bound to explode. Gunther has only had one blemish on his record since his SmackDown debut in December of 2022. He has held the World Championship since November the 19th of last year, has already turned away the challenges of Ricochet, Edge, Brock Lesnar, Drew McIntyre, and Braun Breaker. But can Roman Reigns be the kryptonite to what has been one of the most dominating World Heavyweight Championship reigns in history? A question that we await an answer to two weeks from tomorrow. But right here tonight, in the pit in Albuquerque, Carmelo Hayes, Roman Reigns, in your main event. Melo's debut on Friday Night SmackDown. Gotta look out for Trick Williams at ringside. Very welcomed in Carmelo Hayes' mind to get involved and try to help Melo pick up a victory. Roman Reigns, obviously, was able to get the victory this past Saturday, but it was not an easy task. Drew McIntyre, in my eyes, controlled a lot of that matchup Saturday night at Backlash. Roman Reigns not necessarily showing any ring rust. If anything, showed resiliency at Backlash, but it goes to show you the level of talent that Roman Reigns has walked in the doors to ever since his return to SmackDown. Some superstars better than ever. And some superstars like Carmelo Hayes not even in the prime of their careers yet. Roman facing a vast variety of talent. Whether it's Saturday at Backlash, tonight on SmackDown, or two weeks from tomorrow at Battleground, no matter the task at hand, Roman Reigns is looking to dominate. Looking to come out on top in Sacramento, California as the World Heavyweight Champion. Looking to come out on top tonight as Carmelo Hayes and for some reason he was asleep, definitely just got woken up by a thunderous reception to Roman Reigns beating his ass in the corner. Oof. Roman Reigns ever physical inside of that squared circle. I saw how agile and deep into the waters Melo was able to fight in that matchup against Sami's aim for the Intercontinental Championship a few weeks ago on Raw. Victory was not to be. Melo drafted the SmackDown later on the occasion, and now he finds himself on the blue brand. Hanging up Roman on the top rope could be the biggest upset of Carmelo Hayes' career, the biggest victory of Carmelo Hayes' career, no doubt about it, if he can find a way to keep down the number one contender here tonight on SmackDown. It's been a very interesting night on the road to battleground. Tensions are riding high already here on Friday Night SmackDown. Now Roman and Mello take center stage, and I'm sure neither one of these men looking to come up short. This is Roman Reigns' first matchup here on SmackDown in well over two years. Carmelo Hayes' first ever appearance here on the blue brand. Neither men looking to come up short, as we mentioned. Right now, Mello revisiting the tactics that did a number on Sami Zayn a number of weeks ago on Monday Night Raw, and that's the beat down on the outside. Unfortunately, it didn't work out for Mello at the draft lottery, and it may not work out for Mello here tonight in Albuquerque. Roman Reigns pushing the pace. 
Meanwhile, you got Trick Williams trying to take the turnbuckle pad off the corner. He successfully does, but Roman Reigns not letting him get away scot-free. He's got one for Melo, and he's got one for Trick. Wait a minute, I think he's caught the attention of Charles Robinson, who's throwing Trick Williams out of ringside. Melo taking advantage of the distraction, but the story momentarily, Trick Williams got his hand caught in the cookie jar. He has gotten thrown out of ringside, and we got a one-on-one -on -one match finally between Melo and Roman. Melo trying to take advantage of a momentary distraction, but Roman Reigns looking to come back better than ever tonight. Trick Williams trying to get involved. Charles Robinson here on Friday Night SmackDown not having any of the games that the Trick Melo gang used on Monday nights. Now Roman Reigns trying to close the distance between these two superstars. Roman looking to get the job done tonight and put his focus on two weeks from tomorrow in Sacramento, California. And Roman Reigns with his eyes locked. Carmelo Hayes back into the corner. Not where Melo wants to be, especially with the Tribal Chief. Seeking his prey tonight. I'll tell you, moment, moments after Trick got thrown away from ringside, Melo was able to take advantage, but ever since then, Roman Reign has rev revved up the engines here on SmackDown. Could be a blueprint that just got torn up before Melo's eyes. Now Roman Reign is just continuing to fight just as he did against Drew McIntyre on Saturday. A Roman, man, what a knee! This is what we talked about earlier, what we talked about on Saturday. Roman Reigns so physical in between the ropes. The reason he had so much success in the many years of his WWE career before he took a few years away, but now back with new goals and new talent to step into the ring with, and all this new talent is finding out just why Roman Reigns is one of the best to ever do it. First time ever matchup two weeks from tomorrow. First time ever matchup here tonight in Albuquerque. Carmelo Hayes, he wants to pick up a victory, pick up the upset of his career. He better find a way to come back now or never. Roman Reigns having his way with Melo. Could be looking to send a message to the ring general Guther tonight. On the ropes he goes, Melo, what a counter! Muscling up Roman Reigns for a standing Spanish fly. Credit where credit's due. We have never once knocked the abilities of Carmelo Hayes. And Melo taking out Roman Reigns with the cutter. Could be all she wrote. The upset incoming, not to be denied, is Roman Reigns. Springboard. And just like that, Roman with his back against the wall. Carmelo Hayes looking to push the pedal. Roman Reigns on wobbly legs, going for first 48. Not to be, Superman punched by the head of the table. Welcome to SmackDown, Carmelo Hayes. Roman Reigns victorious on the road to battleground. One in first 48. Instead, he got a Superman punch for his troubles. Here is your winner, Roman Reigns. Oh, wait just a second. The celebration to be short-lived thanks to the appearance of the World Heavyweight Champion, the Ring General Guther. And for the first time since WrestleMania, Gunther and Roman Reigns are in the same ring at the same time, same place. Two weeks from tomorrow, the World Heavyweight Championship will be on the line as Gunther defends the big gold belt in a first time ever main event collision against the head of the table, the Tribal Chief, Roman Reigns. Wake up, wake up, wake up, it's time to get up.